But first tonight, a small step towards justice for a Charlotte family who's been waiting two years for answers. Mary Collins was murdered in what detectives call one of the most shocking crimes they have ever seen. The 20 year old disappeared the week of the statewide COVID lockdown. Her body found a week later. One of the four charged in the case went before a judge this afternoon. WCNC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden was in the courtroom today and tells us Collins' family made their presence known too. Mary Collins' grandmother brought this giant mural of her and planted it across the street from the courthouse while inside the courthouse this afternoon. One of the men charged in her case, charged with murder, found out he will not be getting a plea deal. <laughs> Mary Collins was just 20 years old when she vanished in March of 2020. She was found brutally murdered, her body stuffed in a mattress five days later. Autopsy reports show she'd been stabbed 133 times. They tortured her and just let her bleed to death and, and die. And, and then they just put her in their, in their mattress. Collins went to hang out at this Noda apartment complex with people her family says she thought were her friends, Lavi Pham and Kelly Lavery. Both are charged in Collins murder. Lavery was scheduled to be in court today, but her case was continued. Police say the couple called their friend Jimmy Salerno. He too is charged with murder and in court today. He pleaded not guilty. The prosecutor told the judge the state will not be offering Salerno a plea deal. They're moving forward with a trial. Collins family members have said for months they're anxious to see all the suspects in this case go to trial but no, that still may bring little closure. The hardest part is thinking about the torturing that Mary went through and that she's gone and we don't get her back. And I can't take any of that pain away from her that she experienced. Salerno's attorney and family told us they had no comment this afternoon. There's no trial date set yet. That is likely because of all the backups because of COVID. The other three suspects in this case are all scheduled to appear in court in the coming weeks. Reporting in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte. And you'll recall that Michelle has been covering this story step by step. You can read up on her coverage of this case on our website, WCNC.com.